Bam. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today because it's Mother's Day. I was going to upload something else, but I want to upload something to kind of remind you how important Mother's Day is. All right. So like first, this is coming from someone that like, you know, lost their, you know, I lost my, I lost my mom in 2017. Uh, it's 2021 now. So people would, you know, most people would say like, Oh, a lot of people would ask me like, oh, does it get better? Oh, does it get better? You know, like, um, do you feel better now? Or does it still like, you know, does it still mess with you? And the truth is that it gets worse. It gets a lot worse. Like it gets worse. It gets worse and worse and worse. And, you know, I'm actually thankful that, uh, my cousin's boyfriend at the at the, at the day of um, my mom's funeral room after we buried her he was like he was like hey man i'm gonna tell you this it's only gonna get worse and i was like what the hell why would you say that to me he's just like it's only gonna get worse pal we'll be all right let's drink some hennessy i'm like sounds like a good idea and then we drink some hennessy but then like same time i was like what does he mean like what does he mean by like this is gonna be it's gonna get worse it's gonna get worse and the truth and he's i think you know he in the same way he meant he meant like it gets worse but you also get stronger like you know it's not gonna get worse like it's, like, it's not like the years are gonna they're gonna you know climb on top of you and you're just at that you're still at that point when you're weak because to be honest, just there's going to, like, if you, you know, one day, if, you know, God forbid, but that's the truth, you know. The thing, the thing about Mother's Day is that you have to really honor the person who held you in, you know, she brought you in uh, through her body. She, she carried you, she nursed you uh, for... Uh, nearly for like you know eight to nine months and you know what i mean like we were once a part of her we were once inside her so it's like you know we were a part of her uh and we gotta take that into consideration we have to take that you know we gotta take that into really deep perspective you know what i mean like she was our shelter that's why in psychology like there's a lot that has to do with moms and and children versus a uh, parent versus father and and children but we don't have to get into that right now it's not what we're getting into we're, we're just doing a quick a really really quick video on um i just want to tell you like you know i just want to say like you know go out there like you know what i mean like if you're if you have your mom still right if you have maybe you haven't talked to your mom in a while maybe you maybe you haven't seen her maybe you guys fought the other day and like you're trying to like avoid her i don't know maybe maybe uh, maybe maybe whatever the reason is like unless you have a restraining order or something but like other than that like go go bring some flowers to her and if you can't bring some flowers go steal some flowers i give you permission to go find some flowers somewhere in the neighborhood and go steal some flowers just because it's mother's day but I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever tell anybody to steal flowers, but it's Mother's Day. Come on now. If you ain't got no money, then you better jack them flowers. I know a lot of us are unemployed, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can get them flowers, boy. And it's, it's actually much sweeter, too, because they say, like, you know, you picked it yourself. You know what I mean? It's much sweeter. But, um, yeah, like, Mother's Day is a, you know, it's it's two days in America. It's We have the American hot, American Mother's Day, which is Sunday, and then we have the uh, Mexican Mother's Day, which is on Monday. Even though we're Filipino, or I'm Filipino, and, uh, you know, everyone here is, like, I don't know, all kinds of races. Like, we celebrate, we celebrate twice, we celebrate twice, too. And, um... It sucks, you know, because on days like this, like, these are the days I feel lonely, you know. It's not like, you know, it's, it, I, don't, I don't know, that's why, like, it's like my, I feel, I feel lonely always on Mother's Day, 
Father's Day, uh, Christmas, like uh, any of those big holidays and stuff, I, I feel like I'm alone. You know, I hate that feeling, but like, I know I'm not alone. I know that I'm not alone. Like, you know, I have my family here, but like, I don't know. Like, it's like, I guess you can say like, um, you know, I, I, I've spoken to a crowd before, like maybe of 26,000 to 30,000 people, like when I used to be a missionary. And even then, like, when I would tell them stories and stuff, like, even then, I would be feeling alone. Because, uh, you know, like, alone is, is like, a very, it's, it's, not vague, it's not vague, but it could be vague. It's very abstract, you know? So, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing I would want right now than... My mom like I can't think of anything you know I would rather be doing right now than to just be you know, hanging out with my mom eating the barbecues she made eating that sinigang uh some adobo some of that good good you know like you know it it's all man all the good things that's why if you have your mom right now if you need to you know, not, you know, I'm not, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you that it's going to hurt if you don't do it, because I know how it feels. I neglect, I neglected, like, a lot of that stuff when I was, when I was, um, when my mom was still here, you know, I was, I was twacked the hell out, freaking barred the hell out, not giving a fuck about anybody but myself. And it was only, it was only by God's grace, like, and stuff, like, six months or eight months before she passed away that I got sober and stuff, and, and she got to die seeing me sober, you know, and she died, I remember, like, I never told this story on YouTube because I don't think people want to hear it, but uh, the night my mom passed away, she, um, uh, she was so, so I was sleeping on the floor. I was sleeping on the floor, right? And then she was sleeping on her like hospital bed. But we were here in my house in the, in the living room. And I remember like I was holding my mom's hand while she was sleeping, like this. And she her hand was like hanging out of the bed, so I was holding on my mom's hand, like this. And then I just I saw like the clock. It was like oh seven thirty. Then I had to pee real bad. Right, so I just like I was just like hold on, like I checked on my mom real quick to see if she was alive. She was alive, right? She was alive. I went to go pee, right? I went to go pee. I swear, and this is one of those pees that you you know that you're comfortable, like you know you just take you don't even close the door type of pee. You know you just pee, cry. You know you just pee and you just flush. You know and wash your hands type of piss. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. And then like you know you come back. And then I hear my aunt screaming, ah, oh, like my aunt was like, ah, oh, Jay. And I was like, what happened? What happened? And she's like, Jay, your, your mom's gone. And I was like, no, she's not. I was like, are you tripping? I, I swear I was, I just took a piss. Like I, I just, I just went to take a piss. Like, like no, I didn't take no more than like a minute or two. And then she's like, look, feel here. And I was like, oh damn, she's really gone. Like, but then like, it was so crazy because like, I was like, I don't know, like, it was so crazy because I was like right there. I was like, I I felt her heart, like she was still breathing, and I could see her, like you know, like she wasn't, she she passed away from cancer, so like you know, it's kind of hard to um describe how someone is in their last stages, but just know that like the last thing that they can sense. Because they lose their eyesight, they lose their taste, they lose their smell, um, touch, and then they lose their hearing. So remember, like, if you have, you know, hearing is the last thing that goes away. So you always have, you should always say what you want to say and say what you, say what you really want to say, you know, and, you know, tell them, tell your mommy you love her, 
you know, do anything for her and you'd be praying for her and, you know, just you know, tell your mom you love her. Because, like, man, if I knew, like, it's so crazy, bro. Like, it's crazy how I just got up really fast. You have no idea. Like, I checked and made sure she was alive when I when I woke up. And I know she was alive because she was breathing. But And her heart was beating. Somewhere in between me letting her go and me going to the bathroom to go take a piss, she let her, I think she let herself go. I think she didn't, I think I was, I, was, I think like, I think like, you know, if in, in the, like, you know, in a way that's not too spiritual and not too like, you know, you know, I don't want people to be all like ghosty and stuff like that or spiritual, but I think I was holding on to her. You know what I mean? Not in a good or bad way. I think I was, I was just, I think I was, um, I think like we, I think me and my mom both had this bond right we both had this bond right that because i'm the youngest child and like you know us we're spoiled right <laughs> so i'm the youngest child like and i'm the one like she's most worried about out of my two sisters so i think i think um when i i think like for, for from what i believe i believe that god god um you know god like she chose that was a good time for her to go because I think she didn't want to, she didn't want me to go. Like she didn't, I think I feel like she didn't want to see, want me to see her go. Like while, like, you know, I, I think she didn't want me to see me wake up to that. You know, I think that's the only thing that I feel like, it, I feel like my mom wouldn't want me to wake up to her dead. So when I woke up, she was still alive for a few more minutes. And then I went to go, and so I went to go use the restroom. And then my aunt, you know, I hear her screaming while you know, I'm already getting out the bathroom. She told me she's gone. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, I just, you know, it's just like, and, you know, in a, in a blink, you know, in the blink of an eye, like, you're here and then you're not. You know what I mean? That's something that you have to really, like, something you really have to, like, take into, take to heart. You know, we're here, we're only, we're only a blink, we're, we're always, we're always, um, we're always, like, you know, one blink away from greatness, or we're always one blink away from death. That's the truth of life, because life is, you know, it's fragile. But it doesn't mean that, like, you know, in between those jumps, it doesn't mean, like, we shouldn't have fun. It doesn't mean, like, you know, we can't enjoy each other. We, ha we have to enjoy each other. You know what I mean? That we, we, we are all we have. You know what I mean? And I know everybody has their own beliefs and stuff, so I don't want to get into that. Uh, I respect your belief and... You know, so I'm not going to share mine because, you know, I respect yours and, uh, yeah. But I just, I just feel like, you know, as a Mother's Day thing, we should all come together. Like, it's not, it's not much of a, you know, it's, we're not, this is not a church right now, you know. I'm just saying that, like, you know, shout out to all the moms and, um, like, all the moms, like, uh, like, not just, not just all the moms, right? Because there's some mamas out there. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell, let me tell you. There's some mamas out there that I, not, I am not shouting out because they did not, or they are not doing a very good job. <laughs> and, and like, I don't blame, like, all right, all right. So I'm sorry. That's not right to say. Well, maybe to like the ones that are like fucking locked up or something. And then like they did some, they like freaking killed their own baby. Maybe that, like those kind of moms, like, yeah. But everybody, you know, none of us are perfect. So, you know, shout out to every mother out there, all the single mothers, especially. Like, shout out to you guys because you guys do a lot, and it sucks that you know somebody, uh, somebody who made that baby with you. 
ain't man enough to like you know either they ain't man enough to um you know to raise a raise a child or maybe maybe you know they got their life taken away a little too early you know that's a little bit more honorable i mean that's a lot more honorable i'm sorry or if they're just some bum, you know, if they're just some bum and like some, some deadbeat, man, that's whack. Like he just doesn't want to take care of his kids, own kids. That's whack as hell. Anyway, I'm not trying to be a rat. I'm not trying to rat. I'm just trying to tell you guys a story because um, I'm about to go right now. I got to pick up some flowers and... Pick up some flowers, go to the cemetery. I'll probably make a vlog there too, maybe. I'll see if I feel like it. But like, yeah, go. Like, honestly, if you if you never had a relationship with your mother, with your mom, if you never had anything close, intimate, or like, as long as, I don't know, as long as your mom's alive, the least you can do is tell her you love her, or the least you can do is like tell her like you want you want. Like, you know, you acknowledge her and you, you want to say thank you to her for bringing you life and for, you know, maybe, you know, our moms aren't perfect, you know, every mom is different. You know, my mom, whoop, she whooped my ass. I remember that. She used to whoop my ass and that's why I have self-respect for people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's why I don't go, that's why I don't go, up, I don't, I don't go shooting up schools because my mom would beat my ass. <laughs> but yeah like yeah so you know fuck unemployment fuck all that shit right now you know fuck being broke fuck fuck any of those thoughts like you know any of those situations that's happening right now it's like just, just fuck it you know fuck it just enjoy it right now just enjoy your enjoy the presence of your mom that's the best thing I can tell you to do. That's the and that's the biggest blessing I, I wish I can have right now, but I'll never ever have it again. Maybe one day, like if I ever become a father, you know, that's probably when I'll feel it because, like, you know, I'll raise my own kids, and then Mother's Day will be like a wife's day kind of thing. But other than that, you know. My parents had me when they were very, they were much older. So, you know, my life's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. Um, yeah, so I don't wanna, I don't want to go too much of your time. I know you got things to do, but, you know, I just wanna say, you know, happy Mother's Day to you and your mom. Uh, all your moms. Um, Yo mamas, yo mama, yo mama, yo mama was like, hey, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I'm like, yeah, like, you know, to everyone out there, my subscribers, my peoples who are watching this, like, you know, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to y'all and then to, especially to your mother. And I just want to say, you know, good job for raising a person. You know what I mean? Like, good job, like, honestly. You did the best you could, and that, and whatever we, whatever we are, is not exactly a representation of you. It's more, it's more the the fact that we're alive still. That like you, you know, you gave us this life. So, shout out to all the moms out there, and um, and the moms who aren't with us, you know, anymore. Uh, you know, I gotta give them a shout out too, but, and uh, rest in peace, like to all the moms. If you're like me in the same situation, uh, you know, rest in peace to our moms. And we know that, you know, like they're in a way better place than us, man. They ain't worried about this. You know, they ain't worried about no bills. <laughs> they ain't worried about nothing. Like, you know what I mean? They're in a much better place. That's why I'm, in a way, I'm joy. In a way, I feel good about that. But of course, I miss her. And yeah. So, if you know, if you ever, if you guys ever, like, you know, ever have ever go, if you guys ever have to go through this and need someone to talk to, you know, 
you got me. Uh, I've been I've been struggling for a minute, but you know I I can tell you a few things to make you think about it in a different way, and it's genuine too, like from the heart, because um not only from experience but from also from knowledge from studying it and stuff like that. I used to be a pastor, you know that. I used to do funerals. <laughs> <laughs> but um other than other than that yeah happy mother's day to the world and yeah please, please subscribe if um please subscribe if you're <laughs> i'm sorry i was about, I'm, I'm trying to stop i'm trying to hold back my tears that's why i can't even talk <laughs> All right, cuz, all right, cuz, be all right, all right, cuz, hey, all right, cuz, we go, we're gonna end this, we're we gonna end this on a, on a good note, on a good note, all right, cuz, uh, ah, uh, all right, cuz, hold, hold that in, cuz, soldiers, soldiers shed tears too, cuz, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so, man. What do I usually say at the end? Oh, yeah. Because so, I forgot what I'm like. How do I get out of this video? Anyway, if you ha haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. I don't make, you know, this is not a channel. Maybe it's going to be here this time because there's a lot of space here. Shout out Nipsey. Rest in peace and Nipsey. Tupac on the other side. But, like, you know, yeah, like. Please subscribe and uh like here like in the, on this channel it's you know it can go it go it goes from it goes from uh like the best way i can explain it is that it's a uh, it's everyday journalism you know it's like contemporary it's contemporary like art contemporary news contemporary you know whatever whatever everyone's buzzing it's like a buzz channel you know what's buzzing right now I'll bring that to you. And today was buzzing Mother's Day. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to share a quick story. So and then the importance, man. If you got your mama, you better go give her a hug. Give her two hugs. Give her two hugs for me. Just be like, hey, there was this guy on YouTube named is Jay Ree. He just wanted me to give you a hug because like he doesn't have his mama anymore. You can please do it for me, man. Sis, sis, bro, do it for me because I would be so happy. You know, I would be so happy that to, you know, to hug, to have that spiritual hug, you know. Anyway, please subscribe again. If you haven't hit it yet, you can do so right now. Right now is the best time. It's free. It's only going to be free for about two more minutes. And. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, the next video I'm coming out with, uh, just for a little sneak peek or a little preview, uh, I'm doing two videos. One is going to be on gaslighting, right? And then the other one's going to be on, uh, the other one's going to be on, on how having strong enemies is a blessing, which was Nipsey Hussle's last tweet. So. Be sure to subscribe so you can, you know, or hit the bell notification if you want to get an uh, announcement on those, you know. Those are going to be coming out pretty soon because I'm working on it. I've been working on it, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it today. Or I'm not going to at least, like, I'm going to go out. I need to get out the house and go see my mom at the cemetery. So, yeah. All right, man. All right, y'all. So, I've been, I've been, I've been sitting, like, I've been talking to my ass off over here because, uh, I'm nervous, you know, I'm nervous every time. I'm always, I don't know why I get nervous going, going to cemetery or going to do all these things and stuff, you know. But I didn't even go visit my mom on her birthday. And I feel bad about that. So I need to go today. And you need to go hug your mom right now. And, you know, tell her you love her. Buy her some flowers, buy her some chocolate covered strawberries, buy her some, buy her a nice dress, buy her like 
buy her buy her something that is only for her that so buy her some buy her something that only she can use not like don't buy her something that like everybody can use but buy her something that only she can use and something that she likes you know and yeah so to that let's say peace love god bless you